Hello, my friends. How you doing? Babyface McDonald here, just chilling. Uh, I got a recipe here for you. Pretty, uh, pretty big deal here. We got burdock, cucumber, uh, broccoli stems, dill, cilantro, carrot, celery, bok choy, spinach, and purple kale. A lot of fun. A lot of amino acids. Alkalinity for the cells. Can you dig it? Um, the perfect diet is probably uh, fruits and leafy green juices. If you can get your diet to that, at least for a period of time, to get the detoxification, the regeneration of the cells, it's really helpful to eliminate all nuts and all fat for a period of time to help to break down some of the, uh, some of the uh, fat that accumulates and stores toxins in the body. So if you're trying to eliminate cellulite, or if you're trying to trim up, or if you're just trying to illuminate your mind, or trying to clean out your lymphatic system, or you're just trying to energize your cells and bring more life to your life, a really good uh, uh, program to kind of surround yourself with is fruits and green vegetable juices. I wouldn't do that for an incredibly long period of time, but anybody, I think, anybody could get away with that for several months on a very low or no fat diet. I mean, we all have to be smart here and intelligent. Uh, so, with the, with, I would, the, the, a lot of people sent me information about coming down off some of the antidepressants. And yes, it's true, they mess up your head. And if you go off those too quick, you can have some serious issues. So, I would say find somebody to work with you. But the problem is, there's so few people out there that under, understand detoxification and regeneration. So my suggestion to you is to get a hold of me for a phone consultation if you need to, okay? I'll be honest with you, and please don't take this wrong. It's not my favorite thing in the world to be talking on the phone, but I am dedicated to helping people, and I will do so, but I have to charge you for my time. So it's 60 bucks an hour, so get a hold of me on Facebook or YouTube if you need some help. If not, try to find somebody who's holistic, who can understand how to help you come off your medications easily and gracefully so that you don't cause problems. Thank you for everyone who sent me information. I am frustrated at only having 10 minutes a day. I mean, I could put up two or three videos, I know, but the amount of work that we already have to do with just one video, you'd be surprised with wireless internet and stuff like that. Um, so it's, uh, you know, I'm just doing my best to help people, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job by the way everyone's given me feedback, so I appreciate that. Again, 10 minutes is kind of like maybe if we become YouTube partners, I'll be able to, uh, to have longer videos or something, or we'll just have to figure out something, or maybe one day I'll just have to fill up the, audi the, the uh, auditoriums or something so that I can actually get into this and give you some of the in-depth stuff. So be smart about coming down off your medications. Look on the research. The internet is full of a lot of BS. There's no doubt about that. But there is some good information out there. And go with your intuition. Keep on learning. Keep on studying everything you can about coming down off the medications. And then find ways to enhance your spiritual understanding of life. Because I, my family wanted me to be on those drugs and pills. And... Uh, I didn't do it, okay? I actually went kind of the recreational route, if you know what I mean. But I was in my own control because I wanted to live my own damn life. So I never took any of the prescription drugs, but I did do quite a few of the other things. And I never did find balance from that either. I mean, you can be stoned out of your mind on prescription drugs or recreational drugs. What's the difference? The real issue is not being addressed. And that's what we want to do here on the Life Regenerator channel. That's what I'm doing with my own life. That's why things are not easy. You know what I'm saying? It isn't just about a diet. This is a supplemental aspect of my life, man. But I'm trying to get in there and trying to be strong in my life. And I have good days and bad days, you know. And uh, I bet you everyone else does too, you know. I wish I could say this diet will make you float on the clouds and you'll have angel wings and everything will be perfect from now on. But it's not the truth. But sometimes I forget, though, that the people that are really heavy or they're really sick or really tired, you know, then I forget that most of the people are not like me that are dealing with the more subtle levels of this stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I, have a, I try to keep things in context. I'm probably healthier than 
percent of the population but I forget that sometimes that, that I'm actually probably being quite helpful with these recipes and teaching people about raw foods I mean every living organism on the planet has eaten raw foods since the beginning of time you know what I'm saying no other organism in the far of the history of the planet that we know of has ever put heat on their food I'm not saying it's wrong I'm just saying, think about the fact. Are there any animals in nature that cook up their food? Well, people say, well, we're better than the animals. Well, are we? <laughs> we're still killing each other left and right. You rarely find a person who's truly happy, truly deeply content and at peace. And no offense to anybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not at peace every day. I got There's enough war going on inside of me, and that's probably why... But I don't bring it out on other people. I try to keep it contained and I put it into context that these are my own issues that I'm working through. It's an inner thing and it could go on forever. In my opinion, it goes on until you're enlightened, until you drop the whole damn thing and the story is gone. There's no more story. But unfortunately, a dude like me is so into the story. I'm the life regenerator and I'm going to be successful in all this stuff. But if something comes up and arises to be looked at that contradicts the success and the happiness, then the life regenerator gets all bent out of shape and wants to fight it and be mad as hell about it all. And, uh, you know, that's where the conflict comes from. So I'm trying to work on accepting everything that arises. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, uh, you know, hey, I have not perfected that yet. But I guess maybe that's what makes... The life regenerator is so hip and cool. I'm just taking what everyone tells me. I talk on the phone to people sometimes. They talk to me. They tell me what's up. I'm like, cool, because I don't really know. I mean, I just, I'm me. I'm, I'm, I just sit here and I know what I am, and I don't really know what all you guys see. So, all I'm saying is, raw food makes a lot of sense on one level because you never see no cooked food on no animals nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And the humans are like, but our brains are bigger than them. But it's like, we're not really that illuminated because people are so crazy anyways. Even, especially the people that are like, we're better than the animals. They don't really have the sophistication to realize maybe that it's all really just one. One divine allness. That's the way I see it. I don't get to see it that way all the time, but I can see it. You know, I can see it but I can't really see it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working on myself. Raw foods is a part of it. I mean, you guys have seen my body. It's a pretty good body. It works. You know what I'm saying? It's not big and it's not, it's got fairly good energy levels. Like I said, I'm not perfect and I'm kind of getting sick of trying to think it, but I still can't stop going towards doing the best that I can with this, alkalizing, energizing, illuminating to enhance my own experience, you know? I mean, I just want to see the potential arise in this lifetime. And health is one of those things where I would like to see my potential arise. Also, maybe financial success. But also, I'd like to see uh, myself become a channel for the divine, you know, so that the more people that get help, the better. And, you know, there's part of me that obviously wants to, you know, have, like, I want to reap the rewards of that. But um, I know it's not me. It's really like the love that I allow. And so nobody can really say, well, where's that? Let's have a scientific debate about love. Because it doesn't really matter. Because people call me and then I get off the phone consultations. And they say, wow, dude, my life's never going to be the same. I've never met anybody like you. And I've never had anybody put things like that. So, you know, but it's just the way I see things, man. Love, man, health, keep going. Don't stop. Even though it's hard as hell. Today was hard as hell for me, man. And I had a rough old day, boy. But that's all good. And Krista just said, man, you just got to surrender it to God. And I'm like, I know. Because I know that. But it's, it's so much easier to say than it is to do. But I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it right now in front of you. It's all good. I'm here to serve. Uh, drink your fruits or, or eat your fruits whole and drink your vegetable juices and keep on moving and breathing and getting lots of rest. Thank you very much, my friends. Thank you.